Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to draw and add colour to a vector pencil in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start by selecting the pen tool. Notice that I've got no fill and a black stroke selected. Left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift. And this will create a perfectly straight vertical line. Now with that selected, you can go here and I've already thickened up my stroke weight. You can do the same if you like. And then with this line selected, hold down Alt and Shift and drag across to create a copy. And then without pressing anything else, we're going to repeat that last action. And we can do this by pressing Command D on the Mac or Control D on the PC. And there we go, we've created the basis, the main structure for our pencil. Now for the next bit, I'd recommend turning your Smart Guides on. You can do this by going up to View and down to Smart Guides here. You'll see this little tick means that they are active. And if you select the pen tool and click at the top left anchor point, you'll see here that everything snaps in place with these pink guides. So I can click on this and go over here and easily it locks on to that top right anchor point. So it does make it very dot to dot, which makes it a lot easier. Now we're going to work on the lower part of the pencil now. So with the pen tool selected, we're going to left click on this bottom anchor point. And we're going to go down to about here. You'll see here that these smart guides are really helping me line this up. And we're going to click and hold and drag that out to create a curve. Now here it automatically wants to continue that curve but we don't want that in that case. So just hold down the Alt key and then left click on the anchor point and you'll see that it will cut that one short. It will try and continue with a, another type of line, a straight line. Just simply press the shortcut Command V for the selection tool and it will deselect that. And now we can select with our direct selection tool, this anchor point here and holding Shift, we can drag that one down and you'll see there it nicely snaps in place with those smart guides. Now for this next part, we can again click this anchor point and then click over on this right one and just create another curve. So very similar to the one we have on the left. Now with all this selected, you can again either press V or you can go to select and deselect. Now this all looks fine, but there's a few things that are going a bit weird here. We've got these lines sticking out all over the edge. So we need to sort out where all these points meet and these corners. So we can do that by with the selection tool, just dragging over the entire composition, going to the stroke palette and changing the corner to a round corner. And you'll see there that it rounds off everything a lot more tidily. So again, Going back to the lower end of the pencil, we're going to select our pen tool and left click on this anchor point in the bottom left corner. And again, you'll see it nicely marks the center here with this pink guide. And we're going to create the nib of our pencil. So let's left click there. And again, very dot to dot style, click up here until it locks that anchor point in place. And you'll see here, as we create new lines, it automatically remembers this rounded corner effect, which is great. Now we're just going to create one more line with the pen tool. And we're going to go from left, holding shift to keep it perfectly straight to right. So there we go, we've created the outline for our pencil. Now what I would always recommend doing when working on something like this is keeping a copy of what we've created here because at the moment these lines are all editable. So if at a later date you did want to adjust the stroke, you could easily go in and adjust the stroke weight. So it's really good to have that flexibility. So I'm just going to move this over to one side for the moment. And I'm going to click edit, copy, edit paste in place and then just drag this one back over. So I'll keep this here as a piece of prep work that I can edit and use again if I need to. But now we're going to work on adding the color. So I'm happy with the stroke width. That's all fine. With this 
all selected, I'm going to go to Object, Expand, make sure that Fill and Stroke are selected and click OK. Now if we go into Preview Mode, if that's Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, you'll see that we've got a lot of different shapes here and it's all a bit messy, so we just want to tidy this up a bit before we start adding colour. So if we select all our individual shapes and go to the Pathfinder palette, clicking the top left option, which is Unite, we'll turn this all into one shape. So now that we've got this as one shape, what we can do is select this and go over here, left click and hold if you don't see this icon. You may see the Shape Builder tool by default, but we want the Live Paint Bucket tool. So now with this selected, you can click this. And we're just going to go and undo that there because we didn't want to fill that with black. But now this is a live paint group. And what this means is that as long as all these anchor points are complete paths and everything joins up, we can paint, literally paint, in the gaps here. So I've got some colours predefined for my pencil that I'm going to use to colour them in. I'm just going to double click them and open them if you do want to follow along with these same colours for your version of this tutorial. So we've got a yellow here. We've got a light beigey grey colour. We've got a dark blue. And we've got a slightly lighter blue. And if you want to copy these colors, just simply add in these RGB values to your color swatch. So we're going to start by selecting the entire pencil, and we're going to make this a dark blue. Then we're going to select or deselect the shape. And with the live paint tool selected, I'm going to click the yellow. Ah. This usually comes up if you've not got a shape selected. So it's just telling you that you need to select the shape first, then click on the live paint bucket. Then you can click your color. And with the shape already selected, now you can start adding to it. So I'm just gonna fill in this sort of lighter, beigey gray color here. And then for the nib of the pencil, I'm gonna use that slightly lighter blue. And as you'll notice, this is all one shape as well, so we can move this around freely. Now with something like this, again, I quite like to keep a copy of this where it's perfectly straight, so I'll pop that over there, and I'll keep these two together on the side just in case I do wish to edit them at a later date. Now you can select this whole shape, go up to Object and Expand, Leave all of these boxes selected and click OK. And now this is the final version of our shape. And we can keep this perfectly vertical like so, or we can select our shape, click the rotate tool, and we can drag slightly. It depends what kind of icon you're going for, really. But there we are. That's how you create and color in a pencil icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.